Alright guys, welcome back to Frugal Homestead. So today we're going to do a video on how to repair a cracked bathtub, a plastic bathtub. Now I don't know if you guys have ever had to go into a house or been driving down the road and see bathtubs sitting outside. Usually it's a plastic bathtub, especially the jetted ones, like the Miracle Bath is the ones that have, you know, the jets in them, the Whirlpool baths. Those ones seem to crack a lot, but you want to know what cracks more? Mobile home bathtubs. So, finally, we ended up getting a pretty good crack here. Now, if you were going to use this tub and just have it filled up below that line, it probably isn't an issue, but we have a granddaughter. You know what our granddaughter likes to do? Play in the bath. So. This whole bathroom is going to get a remodel coming up, but for right now, I just want to patch this crack up. I don't really care what it looks like, but this would give me the ability to be able to keep using it until I'm ready to gut this place and redo the whole thing. Now, depending on how bad your crack is or how easy this would be to fix, but let's go over the tools we're going to use because it's actually really simple. So to do this, we're going to be using a plastic welding kit from Harbor Freight. Now there is better kits on Amazon and there actually is self feeding kits that are really good, but we also will be using a piece of sandpaper to rough the edges up. Now we have cleaned it very well. That way the surface is ready to be bonded to and then rinsed it with fresh water. So I will leave links down below to the Amazon to be able to see different kits that you can get and ones that are actually a good deal because you have to be careful because some of these kits are way overpriced it's insane now i'm going to do my best to film this so you guys can see it and come along with me as we patch this and i'll also explain if you have a heavier crack or something that's cracked that can move a lot how to set that up for your repair to last longer okay so here we have a close-up look of our crack and it's just about to turn, which means that if it had gone any farther, we probably would have been done for and had to go heavy duty. So this came with the kit. This is just some mesh metal that you can cut and inlay. Or if it's a really bad crack, you can actually get the plastic rivets and rivet this in on the sides of it to hold it together. Like if you were going to fix a kayak that had a bad crack or a canoe, plastic canoe, this is how you would do it. But since this tub is going to be replaced soon, we're going to do your standard repair. Now, this kit comes with some plastic. Another thing you can use is the banding off buckets. Now, normally in a home like this, if this was a nicer tub, say like a white one with the jets, and you were going to repair this, you would probably want to find a white plastic, obviously. Now, there are tub coating kits and even epoxy kits you can put over these tubs if you want to recolor them later. All I'm trying to do is keep water from getting in here. Now, with that said, this kit has a wire brush here. So we're just basically going to rough up and you can see it's making little scratches. That's what we want. That's going to take off any residue, you know, there's a little soap scum there, you know, you just want to get the worst of them. Then we're going to take our microfiber towel and wipe that off. All right. So then we're going to hit it with our sandpaper, making sure we're getting in there real good. So we don't want anything stopping our repair. Once again, take the microfiber towel, clean it off, and we just have to wait and let our plastic welding iron heat up. Now what I like to do is just kind of do test shots. Yep. So she's getting hot enough here. 
that we can kind of use the properties of it. See how I just tinned it closed? I mean, it's, it's not cracked there anymore. I just tinned it closed just with the very tip. And you want to stitch it like that at its worst spots, just like this. See how I'm just stitching it? I'm using its own material, which is going to adhere to itself best. See how I just stitched it there? Now it's not going to be fully hardened. So you don't want to do too much pressure on it, too much pressure. But we're just going to tin this to close the gap, which technically will make it waterproof pretty much. But I'm going to do my best to film this here as I tin this gap closed. And then we will run a bead over it. So let's see how we can do here. I'm doing this while I'm doing camera work is kind of hard, guys. So bear with me here. See how I'm just... This stuff is super thin compared to most tubs. So that's why I'm going so fast. Normally you'd want to go slower and just kind of drag down it like this. But this is really thin stuff, guys. This tub is definitely not high quality. All right, so we're getting there. Just get it all stitched together, and then we'll be able to lay our bead over it easier. Now you do want to make sure your area is pretty well vented because it's not going to smell good, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. It don't smell good. It's nothing a fan can't fix. All right. There we go. All right, so now you can see we've got it stitched. Now what we want to do, and this is where it gets hard to do camera work and do it, is we want to melt some of the product down onto it. And once we get some on it, we want to spread it just like that. Kind of hard to do when I got a camera right in my way, but we'll make it happen, guys. And like I said, this is not going to be a pretty patch by any means. I'm just trying to seal it up. Let's go ahead and switch sides here. And as you can see, it's just a slow process. You just want to melt it all in, going about a half inch over each side of the damaged area, just to strengthen it up. Now, as you can see, if I could find a tan plastic that matched it, it wouldn't look nearly as bad. And you can go through and sand this when we're done to make it a better looking repair. So let's just continue on here. I will say that this is extremely hard to do with a camera in my way. So as you can see, it's already starting to go. And we're just going to keep laying product on just like that. See how I just smooth it out as I go. So put the product there, let the iron do the work. When it comes off by itself, bring it up. We 
we're just going to continually keep working the product down the line here. We'll go back and smooth it out when we're done. Right now we're just wanting to get it on there. Give it some strength. Oh, we gotta let me readjust, guys. Oh. Much harder to do with a camera right in front of you, honestly. All right. Now we're starting to get some flow. There we go. You definitely should let your iron heat up as much as possible. That way it's at full temperature. As you can see, it's starting to really cover a lot better now. Another option is that some of these tubs that come in colors, you can actually order repair kits and they'll send you a piece of product that's made for these tubs. But this is super old and super cheap and it's just not worth the time. I could have easily gotten some white repair sticks for this or something, but it didn't really matter on the color for me. And don't get me wrong, guys, this is not, not the best way, let's say. I mean, it's good to repair tubs and stuff and save you some money. At the end of the day, though, I'm doing this because I know what a tub costs. This is exact tubs not going back in because these are crazy expensive and they're not good tubs. Because this is a garden tub, it has a center drain on it and finding tubs with center drains is crazy expensive. So what I'm going to do is repair this and then put a standard tub in when it's changed out. This is actually filling in a lot better than I thought it would on this lower part. And I thought this part was going to give me a lot of trouble, but it's not. Definitely not the prettiest looking repair because I used black, but at the end of the day, it's a lot better than having someone come in and tear your bathroom apart because when you take a tub out, it almost always ends up being a full bathroom remodel. All my years of construction have taught me that because you end up damaging the side panels trying to get the tub out. It just happens. It's just part of the game. This would easily to pull this tub out. Go call any plumber. They won't even finish it like the edging or nothing. Just to change this tub is going to be well over $1,000. You can get these little kits for like 20 bucks and do your own repairs, at least temporarily. So now we have the repair. We need to let it cool for a few minutes and then smooth it out some. Obviously it's never going to be perfect. You could put a lot more product than this on and then go back and just sand it down and smooth it out but really all I'm worried about is that it's not gonna leak and really I don't think there's any chance of that definitely don't Wow getting thick there well boys and girls that is how you repair a tub honestly definitely should have probably done it with white or some prettier color black is not pretty but I know my wife won't care and I know my granddaughter won't care I got a little bit right here I need to smooth out up into here but other than that that thing's good to go as you can see so 
Now I don't have to worry about my granddaughter sitting on the side and cracking it all out again. So that simple repair just saved me at least $600 because replacing just this garden tub, if I was just to go buy it, would be $600, not to mention me having to install it. And I can almost guarantee you I wouldn't put this tub back in because I don't like plastic tubs. But also the wall surround be tore up trying to get it out. Who knows what would happen to the plumbing trying to get it out. So this quick little repair just bought me time and sometimes time is money. Now is it pretty? No. The reality is though I can go get some fusion plastic spray paint, run a little bit of tape around it, get like a beige color and just block it in with a beige color to make it look better because that black is kind of yucky. But the reality is, is that whole repair costs less than $20 and took maybe 10 to 15 minutes, probably not that long if I wasn't trying to have a camera right between my arms squeezing in this little tub area. But really for what it is, and I mean, it's solid now. There's no issues. So it's not gonna go anywhere. And that is what matters. The fact that we can get back to using it, not worry about water getting down in there, and it's a pretty solid surface. Now with that said, and I don't know why you wouldn't have by now, come on guys, go down, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you see all of our upcoming videos. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment below, let us know what you think. Let us know if you've ever lived in a house with a cracked plastic tub or a cracked plastic sink. And be on the lookout because I'm gonna show you some other cool things you can do with these plastic welding kits. So I will see you in the next one.